In this video, I will be showing you how to find the area of a sector. The equation of the area of a sector states that the area of a sector is equal to 1 over 2 times r squared theta, where r is the radius of our circle and theta is the angle of our sector. So I'll be going over this in more detail in the end and I'll be showing you how we come to get this equation. But first let's understand what it's saying. So the area essentially of our sector, which would be this shaded area over here, is denoted by or can be calculated by using the equation 1 half times r or the radius of our circle squared multiplied by the angle or theta of our sector. And it's a pretty straightforward example. So let's say, for example, if we have a circle with a radius of 5 centimeters, and so r is equal to 5 centimeters, and the sector inside of that circle has an angle of, let's say, 3 radians. So to calculate the area, so the area of the sector, we have to do 1 over 2 multiplied by r or radius squared, so multiplied by 5 squared, and then this is multiplied by theta, or our angle, so times 3. And from this we get 1 over 2 times 25 times 3, which is equal to 75 over 2, which is equal to, and this is our area. Let me show you another example. Let's say we have a circle with a radius of 4 centimeters, so its radius is 4, and we have a sector with a angle or a theta of 1.5 radians, and this is 4 centimeters. And we want to find the area of this shaded region. So this is basically just asking us to solve for the area of the sector, and over here we know the radius, which is 4 centimeters, we know the angle, which is hidden behind here, but it's 1.5 radians, so we can simply plug that into our equation. So we get 1 over 2 multiplied by r, or our radius squared, so 1 over 2 r squared, that's 4 squared, multiplied by 1.5, that's 16 over 2 times 1.5 times 1.5, which is equal to 8 times 1.5, which is equal to 12. So the area of this shaded region, so the area of the sector is equal to 12 centimeters squared. Units are important, sorry. Centimeters squared. Okay, now let's say that for some reason, instead of finding the area of this sector, we want to find the area of the rest of the circle, or this larger part, so of this shaded area. So how would we do that? Firstly, we already have our radius of 4 centimeters over here. All we need to do now is to find our new theta, our new value for theta, and plug it into the equation. So we need to find theta, and we already know that r is equal to 4. So how do we find theta? Well, we use our knowledge of radians. Since this angle is 1.5 radians and a whole entire revolution is 2 pi, we simply subtract, subtract this. So we do 2 pi minus 1.5 radians. So radians is equal to theta. And this gives us a value of, let's see, so 3.14159 times 2 minus 1.5, that gives us a value of 4.7831, 4.7832, actually that should round up. And now that we have our value of theta, we need to plug this into our equation. A or area is equal to 1 half times r squared theta. So r is 4, once again, so 1 over 2 times 4 squared times 4.7832. 7832. This gives us, well, this is 16. 16 over 2 is 8. 
So 8 times 4.7 blah blah blah. And if we plug this into our calculator, we will get our area, which is multiply this by 8, and we get 38.26544. So from this we get 38.26544. We need to round this off to two decimals, so 38.27 centimeters squared. So the area of the larger sector, the area of the larger sector is 38.27. And just as a side note to check our calculations, we know that the area of the larger sector plus the smaller sector will be this whole area, so that's the area of the entire circle. So if we add them, we should get the area of our whole entire circle. So let's change our font color. So 12 plus 38.27, which is equal to, let's see, is that 60.27? 68.27. And this should be equal to the area of our circle, which is pi r squared, or pi times 16. So let's see, clear, 3.14, one five oops three point one four times sixteen gives us fifty point two four which is pretty close given that I did this calculation wrong. Yeah. And the decimal places are slightly different because we rounded over here. And with pi as well. So now as I promised I'm going to be showing you how the law or how the law or how the equation for the area of a sector is derived. So when we're calculating the area so when we're calculating the area of a sector of a circle, so let's say a portion of our circle, not of the whole thing, let's just say for example that this is 90 degrees, then one cool or interesting fact is that the ratio of the area of the sector to the rest of the to the rest of our circle so the ratio of the area of the sector to the area of the circle let's fix that line is th similar to the is equal to the ratio of the angle of the sector angle of the sector divided by the angle of the whole entire circle so which is 2 pi radians and we can see that like in this case where we're taking one fourth of the circle the area of this will obviously be equal to one fourth of the entire area and similarly, our angle, or pi over 4, or pi over 2 actually, is equal to one-fourth of the entire angle, which is 2 pi. So anyway, um, if we plug in values that we already know for this stuff, so if we take the angle of the sector to be theta, this is over 2 pi, and if we take the area of the sector to just be the unknown variable and the area of the circle to be so let's write this as a and the area of the circle is pi r squared so if we rearrange this to get a or the area of the sector by itself so this area then we get that a or the area of the sector is equal to theta times r squared times pi divided by 2 pi, we can cross out these two pi's, so we can cross out these two pi's, and from this, with a bit of rearranging, we get our equation a is equal to 1 over 2 theta times r squared. So just as a final note, I'd like to tell you that the examples that I went over, such as this one over here and in the start, they're not very complicated ones. The ones that you'll come across in your the ones that you'll come across in your exams and tests will 
generally be more difficult than this. If you're not having trouble understanding the concepts, but you're having trouble under or but if you're having trouble solving the more complicated questions, I will be covering those in a future video.